okay um good morning so um i'll just go straight to what we have here um so this is the new website of um, the national open university of nigeria and many of us is finding it difficult on how to navigate this website so i will just quickly show us how it goes most especially how to fund your wallet as of now i don't know if in the future they will still um, upgrade but as of today 16th of august this is how the website looks so the new um linked to the now open university is nouonline.now.edu.ng so once you just click it it will bring you here now if you are um is a returning student once you put your matric number please don't put password just go to reset so once you come to reset they will send you an otp and you will be able to reset your password i've already done that process so i won't be doing it again but it's still an opportunity to know how to do it it's just a straightforward process once you put your now uh, matric number then you reset then after that you will not be brought here to log in so but the issue with this now is that you can log in except this capture shows up so you just refresh it till the one you are comfortable with then you are good to go so i think i'm comfortable with this one so i'll just input it in this is a y small v capital b and dollar sign because i've already reset my password so i can easily log in okay so this is how the is still loading this is how the new website looks like so i'll just briefly explain what all of these things does this talks about orientation in bursary is where you are going to see um your payment details okay let me open it up in bursary here is where you are, where you can see your payment details the balance of your e-wallet once you click on this e-wallet it loads up to show you the balance of your e-wallet if you have made a payment that you have not reflected and you're expecting it to show up you click on check payment status um, that is the most important thing here you can see down here my e-wallet is showing 19.5 which is wrong because i just made the payment but it didn't come up okay that's it registry registry you can see what is showing change passwords the application record update your bio data print identity card and so on then my courses should show you your courses learning space library assessment my progress and support so but for now we want to understand how we fund our account so for funding of your account we'll come back to home so to fund your account we come back to this um register for the semester register for the semester that's where you start from to be able to fund your account 
So once you click this register for the semester, click OK for this to go out. It's loading up. So now that it has loaded up, um, it have showed the breakdown of um, the semester. So now this is where it get tricky. If, for example, the amount you want to put in um, for your registration is hundred thousand, then this is where you put input it. That means. You have to clean this thirty thousand and put any amounts that you want to pay. So let's say I want to pay zero naira. I'll just click initiate payment. Okay, they didn't allow me to go through. So okay, let me put um, fifty thousand for example. Let me put 50,000 for example. So I'll click initiate payment. Initiate payment is loading up. So as you can see, it has given me a. It has given me all my details, my order ID, my remitter reference. I will meet a reference and so on and so forth. So now you know it's very important that you note your other ID. It's very very important that you note your other ID and after noting your other ID make sure that you note your remitter retriever reference retriever reference make sure that you note it down because that is what you will need to be able to check the status of your payment so let's say that i want to make this payment now i will click yes and i will click proceed so uh, it has brought me to Remita. So what will happen is that Remita has shown me how much I'm to I'm to pay. Remita has shown me how much I'm to pay. So if if I wish to make this payment now. If I wish to make these payments now, so what I have to do is to click on submit. It's like I'm going to click it so for you to understand the full process. So what I have to do now is to click on submit. And another most important thing to note is note this payable note this amount payable is very very important this amount payable is very very important because if you make mistake in that your money will never reflect ah your money will never reflect because the transaction will bounce back because we are dealing with remitter here so you must note that including the kobo must note it so let's say i click submit now so if i click submit now you have the option here now to choose how you want to make this payment is it through card is it through bank transfer is it usdd is it in IR? and there about so i think that's all on how you make payment so next we will now do um another video on how you can register your courses so but well, just for this night we just wanted to show you guys how you can be able to fund your wallet 
on the new website all right thanks and have a nice day and an excellent semester